Hello. I am Dr. James. I am glad you chose FCAP to analyze your flow cytometry data. In this video, I am going to explain the steps for using FCAP. To explain you the steps, I am going to use a standard experiment retrieved from our lab. Take a look. After installing FCAP, you have to log in the software. Type in the username and the password. This is the start page of FCAP. The library's menu is positioned in the left part of the screen. Here you can add the inputs you need. In the experiment session, you can select to create a new experiment, or to import one. To create a new experiment, you have to inform the name, comments and layout. Take a look on this screen. In the menu, you can find the beads library session as well. In this area, you can select whether to import or to create new beads. Use the top menu for this. Now, you are in the experiment area. Please, check the experiment menu in the left side of the screen. There are four functions you can use. Design, data sheet, notes, and report. The section right below is the Nuplex. You are going to navigate through this block to change data, organize it and visualize in the most different ways, modify and analyze. Beads and Model Instrument Settings Debris Filtering Manual Clustering Standard and Quality Control Control Definition Standard Curves Result Per Analyte and Per Sample And Report Let's start with the experiment section. In the design area, you can easily design your experiment using the standards, test samples, controls, and the backgrounds. FCAP is developed in an user-friendly design. You can drag and drop the samples and define the layout you want. Feel free to add information to the data sheet and the notes. Now, you are in the duplex block. Firstly, you can define the beads you want to use. Drag and drop them. Then, you can change the instrument settings. In this area, you can define the clusters, based on beads number. It's an user-friendly interface. You have to associate the cluster, with their respective bead, by dragging and dropping it. Plus, you can modify the parameters, to the best fit to your experiment. Note the upper chart. You can select the scatter parameter. In this case, the side scatter was selected. Also, you can apply the debris filtering. Choose and modify the gates you want to analyze. The after filtering chart updates automatically. You may not find all the cluster for every samples. For these failed files, you can apply the manual clustering, design by yourself the clusters selecting the samples, positioning the bead area to the clusters and double-clicking, to attach it. Besides, you can know, which are the automatic, and the manual clusters. Then, you can define the standards and quality control. Set up the concentration and the dilution factor. You can also change the control definition, when using controls. Therefore, you finished the data input steps. Next part is the analysis. Have a closer look on this screen. In the standard curves part, you can easily customize the type of analysis you want to have for your experiment. You can change the axis parameter, the weighting, and the accuracy, for example. It is possible to observe each bead chart separately. Now, you arrive to the results part. You can see the results in two different ways. Results per analyte and results per sample. This is the screen for results per analyte. Note this part. You can see the results related to each bead and also see the results for each sample. Here you can find different data results for the samples, including the final concentration. 
and this is the screen for results per sample. Observe that association is different. Now all the data are shown, from sample results perspective. For the both session, you can also change the chart type and export in different formats. Well, I think that's all I need to tell you about FCAP. Excuse me, James. There's a last important step you need to mention them. After analyze and collect the results for your experiment, you can report it. You are able to print, export to different formats, or even share it as email. Thanks for reminding me, Jenny. Plus, the report contains all the information concerning the data input and results. We hope you have a great experience with FCAP. If you still didn't start using FCAP, take the advantage of our 14 days FCAP trial, downloading from www.downloads.softflow.com. If you have any further question, do not hesitate to contact us. Don't forget to check our related video.